Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations welcoming you to today's episode of weekly, well now it's more like daily spiel. Uh, those of very good friends of mine will already know that I've been facing a bit of a financial crisis, but I will survive. I will get through this. I have lots of fans, lots of people who love my artwork and want to buy stuff from me. I will survive. I will get through this. If God is on my side, who can be against me? And he has been very good to me before. Just look at this apartment. I, I, I know it's a bit of a mess, but I was able, within the past couple years since I've lived here, I've been able to afford both our beds and our TV. And I basically paid for them in cash when I happened to have it. But those of you who are following me know that I received a rather unpleasant surprise on my visa bill. But I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to let it upset me because I know I've got balls in several courts. I've got my passport funding. I've got, well, people who, have, who are ordering quilts from me. And I'm going to go with my gut feeling because I went to the bank this morning to ask for advice on what to do. They said that I, I use my debit, no, my, what do you call that thing? Uh, line of credit to pay for my credit card. And, and it would automatically be deducted on the 28th of every month, but that didn't sit right with me. Cause how am I going to guarantee that I that the money's in there on the 28th of every month? My my funds tend to fluctuate, but I have had problems before, and God has has helped me out of it. I'm do, I'm excited to see how He's going to get me out of this mess because He has been good to me, and I hope that He's being good to Paul Stanley too, because. Paul's been sick with the flu, but you never hear about what happens when these people recover. I know a lot of KISS fans were angry about the tour being cancelled, but give them, give them a break. Like, Paul's only human. People get sick. I'm hoping I can get my shots tomorrow on my way home from CMHA. I'm going to stop. I should call Scott's IDA, see if I can get them both done, both the COVID and the flu shot, because I hear this year's flu strain is... A really bad one this year. Anyway, when I get off the computer, what I'm going to do is finally finish this crazy thing. And this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I never did, this was last year's project. I put all of a sudden, business became so good that I ran out of time to finish this. And it's true. Business will keep being good from now on. I declare God's anointing of ease on my life, and I thank him for prospering me. This apartment is proof. I can remember back in 2021, well, I know it's a bit messy at the moment with all my art projects going on. 2021, when we lost our previous apartment, we were terrified. I felt like I'd lost my will to live. Couldn't go on any longer. And then two days before my birthday, we got the call that we got accepted at Beacon Arms. I love this place. This place is a real blessing. I tried to take good care of this place, and God has always made it possible to afford the rent, even if it's a bit steep. Uh, I am thankful for all the projects that I've been given, all the, like, the income that comes my way as a result, that it's been possible to do all the things that I've wanted to. I don't want to have to say no to Jeanette's 60th birthday trip at Niagara Falls. And I don't want to have to say no to the carousel convention. First thing I want to do is get this so-called minimum payment paid off. And it'll happen. I'm just not sure how, but it will. Anyway, that's all the news for now. Look, I am. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel!